everybody. We are on location today. Imagine it on the road. I have Carl Nelson here, Tony Giftis and Caitlin from the Imagination Station and we are supersizing the experiment today. Exactly. We do all these really cool school days events at the Mud Hens to bring science in between the innings. So we're going to do a double, what we call a ball plosion, a double ball, ball plosion. Ball plosion, today. I like it. And so it uses one of my favorite um, objects or substances, mm. liquid nitrogen. This stuff is 320 degrees below zero. Wow. Definitely would not want to get it on your hands, although right. if, if you do, it rolls right off and you're fine. But what we're going to do is we're going to pour it into these two liter bottles okay. and build up a tremendous amount of pressure. These bottles will typically burst around 300 PSI. All right. So I'm Should going... I step back? No, no, no. You need, to, right. be, you need to be a little <laughs> bit closer. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, Caitlin and I are going to fill these things up with a little bit of nitrogen. Okay. The nitrogen will expand about 800 times in volume. Wow. And when it does, it's going to burst the bottle because we're going to put a cap on it. Now that would be cool, but even better will be if we throw it in this trash can filled with a little water. That'll right. make it explode a little, a little bit, bit quicker. Okay. Your job, Tina and Tony, got containers of play balls. You're going to throw those play balls on top of this bottle once I cap it and throw How it in. How quickly do we need to do that? Well, fairly quickly because um, we want to get away from this because it's going to be an explosion. Okay. Here. All right. All right so Sounds good. Are you ready, I'm going to abandon the microphone here shortly, and I'm going to start doing once, what you need to tell once, me to do. Once I cap this, I'll take the mic from you, okay. and you can pour. Tony, you'll pour. Right. And we're going to we're going to run away. Okay. We don't leave the. The actual trash can. Take it with you. Okay. Take, it, right. take it all with you. All right, you ready, Caitlin? I'm ready. All right, here we go. We're going to cap these nicely. Oh, man. Get them all I, uh, I don't up. have a running start. That's okay. I'll take this. You throw that in. Get all the balls in there. All right, now bring that back. Come on back this way. Oh, I'll, get this, I'll get this back to you. Okay, all right. This so, is where I worry about our fate. It's here like double dare. If you listen, <laughs> maybe... <laughs> There was, there was, why, Carol Nelson, why? There was so, no need to count. So explain to us what just happened. So the liquid nitrogen expanded inside the bottle, built up about 300 PSI of pressure. When that bottle burst, it actually pushed the water down, the water then pushed back up, launched the play balls up into the air. Wow, and Tony, go grab that bottle so we can see what's left of the two liter bottle. Oh yeah, typically you'll see that what happens, um, yeah, it just gets shredded. And somewhere, somewhere out here is the top of the bottle. Oh, here we go. The cap M is perfectly cap. intact. Cap is a little fine, but the total bottle just gets shredded. So wow. one of the cool things we do down here at the Mud Hens during the school days events in between innings. You are getting my heart racing. Carl Nelson, Kaylin, thank you. You guys from the Imagination Station, you just caught an Imagine It on location. And remember, it is Saturday. That means that you can head down to the Imagination Station. And if you are a Lucas County adult, you can get a child in free with one paid adult admission. And that's how you imagine it.